Now, in an unprecedented milestone for the Kenyan film industry, Watu Wote, a film that chronicles the tragic Al-Shabaab militant bus attack that took place in Mandera on the 21st of December 2015, has been nominated for an Oscar award. The film has already collected a bevy of awards, including the 2017 Students' Oscar Award. Our reporter, Thandiwe Yego, has more on that. Beating out more than 1,500 entries from 365 international colleges and universities, Watu Wate is a harrowing retelling of a tale of unity and brotherhood. During the 2015 attack, the Muslim passengers were separated from the Christians, which led to the fatal shooting of 28 passengers. <laughs> Directed by Katia Benrath and backed by the German embassy, the film will premiere in the country on the 23rd of January, the same date as the Oscar nominations announcement. Known for its long history of being the go-to location for Hollywood productions, Kenya made its first appearance at the Oscars in 2003, showcasing the best foreign language film for the critically acclaimed movie Nowhere in Africa. I went to Master Charles Plantation. <sighs> you admit it? Yes. In an even bigger win for the country, Kenyan actress Lupita Nyong'o took home the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the movie 12 Years a Slave in 2014, alongside Hollywood giant Brad Pitt, making her the first Kenyan ever to win such an award. When I look down at this golden statue, may it remind me and every little child that no matter where you're from, your dreams are valid. Thank you. With technological advancements, the film industry is rapidly growing, earning the economy revenue in approximately 7.5 billion Kenya shillings annually. But with little support from the government, the future of the film industry remains shaky. Tendiweyego, KTN News. Big news there. Let's speak to our reporter, Thandiwe Yego, on the same. She's joining us live from our city centre studios. Thandiwe, this is definitely big news for Kenyans, is it not? Yes, it is. It's a very, very mon monumental thing for Kenyans because we've never seen a movie actually make it to the Oscars and be nominated. And the movie already won the Students Oscars Award in, 20, for the, in 2017, which was an amazing thing for the Kenyan film industry. And it's important to note that the film Kati Kati has also made a, sub a submission for the 2018 Oscars. All right, so um, I want to assume you've spoken to a number of Kenyans, even in the country. How aware are we of this particular film? Are we appreciating it as much as it is being appreciated on the international front? Um, at this moment, I don't think that very many Kenyans are aware of the film or the fact that it has been uh, uh, nominated for an Oscar, but um, now they will know because it's going to be something that will be broadly and widely advertised. It's a milestone for Kenya, and it's an important day. When do we expect this show to premiere? We're expecting it to premiere on the 23rd of this month, which falls on the actual day of the official Oscar nomination list announcement. All right, we'll be looking out for that. Sandy Wayego there joining us live from our City Center studios as uh, one of the films uh, made here in the country has uh, been nominated for the Oscar Awards.